All right, here we go. Nope, we're not going. <laughs> now let's go. Alright everybody, hey, welcome to uh, Northman Project. This is actually part two. I had to redo some stuff. I had some people comment. I'm still learning YouTube. You can't just do anything you want. <laughs> so I, what I did is I wanted to put in a, uh, a video on working scanner groups, creating scanner groups, and chirp a little bit. And so I, what I did is in my playlist, um, I just brought over the previous video that I did on creating scanner groups and used that as part two. Well, it didn't, uh, doesn't work like that. It, uh, if you were to go to the playlist and click play the playlist, it would play in order as part two. But um, the way this is uh, working out is um, they're playing in order of upload so I'm doing this one um, in uh, in place of that one so this is actually going to be part two but it might be playing after part three so my apologies what I can recommend is just going to the playlist and uh, searching for them there you can find one two three and so on and uh, I'm not sure how many videos are gonna be in the playlist and uh, like I said I'm I'm uploading them as I make them but uh, that that part two the other part two is going to be in there which it really isn't part two it's just a more in-depth um, video on the uh, this creating scanner groups Let's see, I don't want to save this. So I'm in chirp. Let's get started here. You know, it's really hard to make a chirp programming video entertaining. Um, but let's just get through this. So what I've done is downloaded, I hooked up the radio to the computer, open chirp, you go radio, download from radio. So you get all of the frequencies right here that are in my radio and you can see they're all just lined up here and most of these are just local repeaters and stuff like that but then you get down to um, right here channel 84 through 92 that is those are my local air band frequencies airport uh, tower um, control um, and then I've got approach. There's a bunch of different ones in there. And then I've got a bunch of different, uh, there's like the live flight helicopter under another band here or another group. But I put these in order of scan groups. And so let's go in and check these out. So what you do is click on settings, go over to scan groups, and then um, I go over this in the other video, but I'm just going to do it quick here because I want this to be part of the review. Uh, these work really well, but you have to kind of understand how they, how to set it up. So if you want to use the scanner or the scan groups, you have to upload your frequencies in order. So scan group one, whatever you want in that scan group, upload those to the memories first, say one through, uh, what do I have here? 1 through 64. So look over here. 1 through 64. I've uploaded those first. And um, I just brought those in from Repeater Book. And that's actually kind of cool too. I'll, maybe I'll briefly talk about that in a second. Uh, here for a second. So import um, from data source so you go to radio then import from data source and then you go to repeater book 
and then political query. That's how you get from repeater book. At least that's how it did for me. So those are in one through 64. I come back over here to scan, uh, scanner groups and I just name that group local wide means these are in my area, but they're more of a wider range um, in my surrounding county area. So I put the channels here uh, set one through 64 and then group two, I named it local. These are my close in repeaters. I can probably hit from my uh, shack here just on HT or maybe the, the uh, base unit. And then, um, so that's 65 through 83 and then airband. Those are where I have the um, airport frequencies in that's 84 through 97 and so on. So you can plan on what you have. So here's another one. I have EMS and fire, FRS, GMRS, and then I put NOAA in here. So I don't have to remember all the NOAA channels, all the frequencies. All I have to do is go into scanner uh, group and select NOAA scan group six, and then I'll find whatever NOAA station that is nearest me. <clears throat> so, um, let's see, uh, on the, what I wanted to show you is on the AM, if you're putting in an AM frequency, you go back over here to memories and let's scroll down to where those were again. So over here on the side, you can see where, uh, mode is, it says mode up here and there's a little menu on the right side, just like power. You can set the power settings in chirp. Um, you can set the mode and don't forget whatever's AM, set it as AM so you can receive it properly. Otherwise it's going to be distorted sounding. And then, um, you can go back in and adjust these add. So I still have seven, eight, nine, ten available. Um, I'm going to work on, we're traveling this, uh, summer going to uh, the coast and I'm going to put in all of those frequencies. So that'll be kind of cool. So I can just use this radio, same radio and just download from repeater group, a repeater book, um, my whole area that I'm going to and repeater books really cool. You guys, it lets you search by County. Now uh, you can add in say a whole state if you want <laughs> import a whole state. Uh, you can search by counties that you're traveling through. It's really awesome. And with this radio, say you're going across the United States, just for example, something kind of crazy. You can program this entire radio with different groups. You got 10, 10 scan groups. So say you're crossing 10 states, you can put each state in a scanned group and go there or you can put the counties that you're driving through in there and all you have to do is go in to uh, your program and uh, in your front panel go to menu and then look for the uh, scan groups and then choose a scan group so that's really that easy it just took me a while to get my mind around um, the uh, the way that it worked because I was used to old school one band one bank you know so scan groups are actually pretty pretty awesome <clears throat> so let's go over here to the configuration real quick I just want to show you a couple things and then we're going to end this video because uh, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this but I want you to see what is available for this radio so uh, I have my tra timeout transmit timeout at 90 seconds um, then it has a timeout alarm. I don't have PTT caller ID set. Um, and I shut off my keypad beep. I don't like that. Side tone. Uh, I don't use that. Ring time. Roger beep. I have off. Backlight. I have enabled. And you can go in here and set your backlight to 5 seconds to 30 seconds. And I have my backlight set to 30 seconds. And this is something I actually needed to change too. Um, 
I wanted to change that. For some reason, my secondary menus aren't showing up. My apologies. I just realized that. I don't know why my program isn't picking that up. But you just drop down menu and then choose your value that you want in there. So I tried it on one yesterday, and I, I mean, uh, with 30 second uh, delay, and on a brand new battery, and the the battery just barely moved. The battery level indicator just barely moved off a of full. So you can really set this thing down to minimal settings to save your battery. But I actually want to see the thing while I'm, you know, while I'm in daylight. So I'll set it to four and maybe we'll go down here to uh, 20 seconds. We'll reduce that time. Really easy stuff, you guys. And then here's the cool thing where I was talking about priority channel. Uh, I have my priority channel set to um, 14652 simplex, which is channel two. But say you wanted to scan your local air band or your uh, local uh, uh, airport tower frequency and it's on channel 10 you can just change this to 10 and what will happen is as you're scanning a scan group it will go back and forth every three seconds and check that airband so you won't miss any traffic on that frequency it's kind of cool I really like that function a lot um, I don't use Vox I haven't tried Vox yet so maybe I'll see if that works Automatic power off. This is something that I wanted to set to. I wanted to give myself a little bit more time. I'll put 60 minutes. And then basically just go to radio, upload to radio. And like I said, for some reason, this isn't showing my secondary secondary menu. I'm not sure why that is. But anyhow, that's, uh, that's the... Uh, um, run down on the scanner groups, you guys. I want to keep it short. This is already 11 minutes, but uh, I got more videos coming, and I'm going to try and do them order. If you're missing a video, go into my playlist. I'm sorry about that. Uh, figuring YouTube out still. And thanks for watching, you guys, and uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel. And one more thing I wanted to share with you guys. I do lots of different stories and different stuff on my Instagram um, just look up Northman Project on Instagram and, and give me a follow there too. That'd be cool. But I actually do little short uh, stories and, and clips about what I'm doing that you can't really do up here on video on YouTube. But it gives you a little bit more detail on stuff kind of as I'm doing it out in the field or whatever, or even just here in the, the shack or whatever I'm doing. I'll add in a little bit of... Uh, a video to uh, Instagram. So it's Northman Project on Instagram. Thanks a bunch, you guys. Thanks for subscribing and liking and commenting. And uh, thanks for the heads up on the, uh, I had a couple comments on the video. Number two was not showing up. So like I said, look in the playlist and you'll find my videos there. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.